The Healthy Food Financing Initiative is an effort to use financing, one-time grants and loans, to be able to bring new innovative models to provide access in low-income communities. What we know is that financing has been a hurdle. It's been a hurdle for supermarkets, it's been a hurdle for produce stores, for farmers markets, for co-ops, all sorts of different models have found that it's the financing that stops them from being able to create the sustainable business that can provide that access for low-income communities. The Healthy Food Financing Initiative uh, project will allow uh, the Butterfly Foundation as well as its partners to uh, develop a site on the north side, uh, which is the community in which we serve a food desert. We'll provide a 4,000 square foot space um, that will incorporate uh, urban gardens, uh, covered um, farmers market sheds for to keep people out of the weather, um, also a cafe, retail space. Uh, there will be the, also the space for the new culinary job training program as well as an incubator kitchen, so we're excited about that project. The Healthy Food Financing Initiative is improving community access to fresh, healthy food, which is a critical component in reducing the nation's obesity epidemic. In cities like Philadelphia, we are just now starting to see childhood obesity rates come down, and it is a comprehensive approach that includes nutrition education, and community access to affordable and nutritious food. Right now we're working in New Orleans on a project at a site where a supermarket had been prior to Hurricane Katrina. We are not only using HFFI funds to bridge a gap to enable a store to reopen on that location, but there will also be a commercial kitchen that will employ at-risk youth who will be preparing 2,500 meals a day for the New Orleans school children. The site's also going to have a teaching kitchen that not only will teach nutrition to residents of the community who suffer from a disproportionate amount of diet-related diseases, but also to the healthcare professionals who serve them. Grocery stores are anchors. Um, they're economic anchors in many ways. And so once a grocery store opens up in the community, you will find that smaller retailers are attracted to that community. Or if a grocery store opens up, those who may have been on the fence about investing and expanding their business uh, are more willing to do so because that grocery store is attracting more foot traffic to that community. So that's one um, very clear option outcome. And then we can't underestimate the job creation. A 60,000 square foot grocery store on average can create somewhere between 250 and 300 jobs, both full-time and part-time jobs. And because the nature of the business, there are often opportunities for individuals in grocery stores to sort of like work their way up the career ladder. And we have documented that type of advancement in jobs um, with a number of the stores that we finance. 